New at six tonight, one of the animal kingdom's most majestic creatures getting a second chance to soar after nursing a young bald eagle back to health. The Treasure Coast Wildlife Center released her back into the wild. Jason Hackett was on hand, lucky guy, for the release. He's joining us now here in studio. Jason. Lucky indeed, Shannon. You know, the Treasure Coast Wildlife Center treats anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 injured birds and animals a year. Many of them are returned to the wild. And today marked a very special success story. Taking to the skies. We don't know exactly what it's going to be able to do from here on out, but we know that at least it's doing it uh, with its full faculties. This moment, the culmination of months of hard work for the Treasure Coast Wildlife Center. Well, it's always a special event when you return a wild animal to the wild where it belongs. And getting there wasn't an easy road. The eagle was found in western Martin County, emaciated and unable to fly. Rescuers brought the eagle here to the wildlife center, which houses other grounded birds. Rest, recuperation, and a very good diet has returned the bird to flight ability. It was then conditioned for release in our flight cage where it was able to uh, uh, attain the stamina necessary for functioning in the wild. All of that leading to today's majestic moment. I felt overwhelmed, really, you know, a sense of, of pride. The Wildlife Center called on County Commissioner-elect Ed Campy to do the honors. We have this, this unbelievable resource in our community that could take a bird, uh, you know, a America symbol that otherwise might have passed away. The opportunity to support them is, is always a yes for me. America's symbol, a symbol of freedom, now experiencing a new freedom of its own. And so there's no way to predict how this one will do, but the Wildlife Center says if all goes well, the eagle will find a mate and establish a nesting territory in three to four years. Mm. It was so cool to sit there and watch <laughs> this eagle come out of this box, and they weren't sure how it would react because it was in this dark box. Right. It comes out of the box and just takes off and just wow. soars into the sky. It was almost cool. too fast, so I really it slowed well, no, it yeah. down for me because I felt like yeah. a mother with her child going off uh, to college yeah. and that those men must have felt the and same way. No radio <laughs> tracking, so off to nature now. Off to nature now, it would be very expensive to track it, so it's off to nature, but they're very, very hopeful. As I said, three years it should be nesting, it should have a mate, and uh, hopefully a happy and healthy life. This number may have changed, but I believe outside Alaska, Florida, a lot of people don't know, it's one of the states with one of the highest, and I think really? one point second highest uh, number bald for eagle uh, bald eagle. Uh, people tend to say, wow, but that was a beautiful story, Jason. Mm. You can always tell, I saw him beaming in the newsroom <laughs> today. So this guy loved... He got a good assignment yeah. today. Yeah, well, you did a wonderful <laughs> job with that. Thank it's you. an important story to tell. Thanks Thank you very much. much. Thank you so much. Yeah.